Hello everyone, this is Critic giving you a shoutcast between Sen versus Ors here on Biohazard 2. Here we have Sen spawning as the purple Zerg player at what I'll call the 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have Ors Rush spawning as the red Protoss player here um, at what I'll call the 8 o'clock position. Biohazard 2, this is the first time I will be casting a map or casting a game on this map so I don't know too much about it. You do have a relatively small base, not too much area that you really need to scout out and then you have a ramp that leads to a natural expansion. Your natural expansion fairly well protected, fairly close and I believe this gives a lot of benefits to both Protoss and just a, just a Zerg in general as you're able to establish your second base very very easily. Now, your options get very, very dicey from here on out as you have a third base that is right over here, but it is um, covered by a very, very, very narrow um, choke point right here that is also covered with brush. So if your opponent comes around from this backside, you will have a very difficult time trying to, trying to funnel your units in order to get any decent defense. One of the benefits, though, is that range units, as long as you have units on both sides, units from over here can attack over here and vice versa. You can see now an Overlord coming in from Sen. Sen scouting out already, quickly seeing that there is a pylon here. And now this one probe pretty much knows where his opponent is as well. Perhaps we are going to see a forge. Yeah, a forge now being placed down. So this may be a forge fast expansion. A forge fast expansion would be pretty interesting. Maybe you can even get off a cannon here and then another cannon here making it a very narrow choke point in order to try to get inside your base. Sen may need to move away with this overlord in just a moment. We can see a hatchery already being placed down over here at the natural expansion at the uh, what I'll call 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock location. And now perhaps we're going to get a, a, a drone trying to wander back and forth. It doesn't look like a pylon will be warping in anytime soon. Trying to hide back over here. And he's waiting for the minerals. Perhaps no. Just wandering around. Not really doing anything at all. With that one probe so far. Another drone now trying to come in. And oh, unable to get up that ramp. And oh, Ors Rush almost losing his scouting probe very, very early in this game. And that would have been a huge loss this early at this stage. We can see now an Overlord is currently in the air. Ors Rush opting to go for a Nexus just because he knew that he didn't have to he would not have to deal with any zerglings early on because of his of that earlier hatchery the, no, the spawning pool is now currently in play we now currently see uh, what two zerglings being trained more zerglings could be queued up no now going for more drones as well so sen just opting to get two zerglings in order to do some scouting and that is it so far the probe now I'm wandering inside does see that there is a spawning pool, sees that there's an extractor, sees drones go inside that extractor. If he clicked on it, he would have seen that there was not enough gas for that metabolic boost, so he doesn't have to worry about speed links anytime soon. The probe now trying to make its way away from those zerglings. Those zerglings, however, are going to be able to hop, skip, and jump to catch up to that probe as that probe is just a little bit slower and that probe still trying to run away and oh able to just um, juke around that one zonaga tower now taking a little bit of damage not quite sure what that probe wants to do though that probe should have returned home otherwise he will get shot down or get taken down by those zerglings you can see that the probe is already down to i believe yeah 10 hit points total between shields and and between shields and um and base hit points and now that probe will get taken down down it goes one overlord still in the air gateway is up probes should start to be transferred over here as well chrono boost allowing for additional energy as well and now we see a pile or a probe hiding around over here by these gold mineral patches the gold mineral patch does not have any um any vespian geysers so it is just a pure mineral patch expansion as well back over here you can now see gateway and another pylon currently being warped in so this is a complete front door seal units will not be able to get in or out and once they are warped in on one side of of the wall here so kind of curious as to what ors rush really wants to do this one pylon can be taken down with relative ease as we are now getting a stalker chrono boosted out that stalker will allow that overlord to get shot down and now we have a stargate currently being warped in as well so one stargate currently being warped in taking a look at the harvester count and the unit count 32 probes for ors rush meanwhile 31 drones for sen ors rush going for a very very heavy macro style of play he is getting one stalker out now and that stalker will be able to perhaps try to look and try to deal some damage towards some of those scouting zerglings but i believe those zerglings if they're able to catch that stalker in open field 
are, are going to be able to deal a lot of damage. There is currently one Overlord, and the Overlord was able to spot the Stargate. So that Stargate, it has pretty much been revealed. We should probably be seeing even more Queens being trained up in just a moment, as Sen should be able to um, train up more Queens and get an even stronger deterrence against any Void Ray play. Only one Void Ray in the group so far, and with only one Void Ray, I believe the Queens will be able to take down that Void Ray with relative ease. But now we see Banelings currently being hatched over here at the front door, and that is going to be a problem. Banelings running straight in. Banelings just going to simply take down that the g gateway there, but unable to deal any more damage. So that was a really, really bad sacrifice. One... Um, one gate or what, like eight or ten banelings in order to try to take down that many um, uh, in order to take down one gateway that was not a fair trade at all taking a look at the losses yeah 750 resources lost versus 250 and now this one void raid needs to just fully charge and try to get up even more damage this one sentry needs to trap drop a force field he needs to drop a force field quickly there he goes drop the force field kind of protecting himself losing all the photon cannons though and now also getting another damage in here the photon cannon is low on hit points more zergians able to run through getting getting by probes coming off the mineral line trying to fight back one void ray in the air that void ray should be able to rack up even more kills he does not deal additional damage and now those probes trying to run and hide inside the assimilator are not going to work as those Zergings are now just running rampant through the base. You can see the probes are trying to hold off in this location right here, stopping many of those Zergings from being able to run in. And nicely done, so R Rush being able to contain many of those Zergings, but now we have Banelings being morphed back over here by Sen. Oris Rush does see them and he needs to deal with it, otherwise his economy is going to get shot down in just a second. And here we go, Banelings running in and they're just going to manually detonate, trying to go after more of those uh, more of those probes once again probes trying to run away perhaps gonna try to run down that ramp stalkers are currently being warped in stalkers gonna go after those banelings one banelings has been detonated another banelings banelings may get detonated as well but now banelings just running straight into those photon cannons once again more probes trying to come in perhaps gonna try to deal some more damage zerglings running straight into a base that has nothing at all so pretty much now trying to go after a nexus the stalkers are going to be able to come in and now just deal more damage there are a lot of zerglings and banelings once again outside the base production wise more sentries are currently trying to be warped in as well perhaps dropping force fields here would be able to stop many of those zerglings and banelings in their tracks one void ray in the air three uh, probes and now more units still need to be trained and now in come those sentries the sentries no so in come those banelings banelings now getting some more detonation another photon cannon has been taken down I believe those Zerglings are not going to be able to take down that sentry there as there are too many stalkers in the group as well. Zerglings once again trying to come back in, unable to break through that front door. Taking a look at the unit's loss or the losses resources, 3,600 lost by Sen. Meanwhile, Aura's Rush losing 2,850, but the income is completely different. 29 probes versus 47 drones. That is going to severely, severely hurt Aura's as Aura's needs to get back into this game. Production-wise, you can now see Sen ramping up. Yeah, 47 drones compared to 31. More of those probes could be chrono-boosted out, perhaps trying to get a stronger economy going. More gateways once again being replaced down the Cybernex core and is over here on that north side or inside the base on the um, east side of the map. Forge is not powered, so there are not going to be any weapons upgrade anytime soon. And these units really need to make their way out. Perhaps some photon cannons up on that high ground as well will help in order to try to fend off that attack. We do see what I believe that was a stalker. Do I see a leg there? Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. That looks like a stalker leg to me. The stalker was taken down in the center of the map. Queen's now making that creep highway in order to allow those zerglings and those hydralis to deal more damage those stalker blink also being researched as well so if we can see the same impressive stalker blink micro coming in from ors ors may be able to take this game one one void ray now in the air he will have to combat with eight hydralis that are currently being trained and that is going to be an issue as well void ray able to just constantly spot out so far zerglings may try to do another run by but I don't think it's going to work. There is one sentry hiding in the center here. He will be able to drop down a force field if need be. And stop many of those Zergans from being able to run in. In comes the Void Ray. The Void Ray now trying to take down some of those... Um, some of those creep tumors but it looks as though sen doing a great job keeping keeping up with this creep highway and those sent and those hydros will be able to walk out and move very very quickly we can see a dark shrine being warped in as well 
and Dark Shrine takes up a lot of gas, so I'm not exactly sure how Aura's Rush will be able to keep up with the production in, term, in terms of Dark Templar and also getting Stalker Blink, but we are also going to have the level 1 weapons upgrade in just a second. Sentry is now finally trying to move out as well. Are we going to get some Force Fields out? In comes some Force Fields blocking some of those Hydralis, so those Hydralis unable to really deal any damage. Zervi is now trying to funnel in, and now blocking their escape as well. Overlords are in the air as well. Overlords are in the air trying to generate some creep, trying to allow those Hydralis to move even more quickly. But Aura's Rush doing a great job with his army and now trying to retreat once again and trying to get under the cover of these photon cannons as there are now overlords in the air now going to be able to spawn some additional creep as well stalkers have not revealed that they have stalker blink just quite yet one stalker now blinking away able to be saved another stalker blinking away as those sentries and zealots on the move once again hydralis trying to focus down some of those stalkers but the stalkers just being so smart blinking into very very tight corridors making it so the hydralis have to go deep inside this base in order to um, any, seriously deal any damage there. The Stalkers now once again trying to give chase. The Forge has been taken down. More Stalkers are, are now blinking down to that low ground. And I believe Dark Shrine should be able to come in in just a second. The, uh, sorry, Dark Templar should be able to come in in just a second if he just tries to decide to actually warp in any of those units. And now Stalkers are going to be able to get a lot of Overlord kills. And now Sen is going to be hurting for Overlords in just a second. Aura's Rush now losing a lot of those units. Zergens, however, going to quickly swarm in once again. More Hydralis coming in. And those Stalkers need to blink away in order to get under the proper cover fire once again. Hydralis are still on the ground with that faster movement speed. And now able to retreat. We can see a third base has been established by Sen. So Sen taking this expansion here. This expansion only has six mineral patches as well. So that mineral patch is mainly for gas as there are two Vespian geysers. Those six mineral patches do not are not gold. So they do not offer a higher rate of return per um, worker. Overlords once again deciding to back off. We can see that the overlords are being a little bit more consciously spaced out. And now a Dark Templar on the move. And that Dark Templar may be able to get a lot of drone kills. That is going to be very, very heavy. And as I do not see any Overseers in this group so far, one Dark Templar now making its way across the map. Perhaps more Dark, dark Templars will be warped in as well. Zealots now being warped in. The Zealots do not have Zealot charge. So they're just simply walking in to give chase against those Hydralis. Zergians now coming in. Zealots do have level 1 weapons upgrade. So both sides are fighting back and forth. Where is that Dark Templar? I could have sworn I saw a Dark Templar running around inside the base as the Zerg Swarm now tries to rush in over here. Dark Templar currently sitting on, what, zero kills so far. So it could have gotten more kills. Not quite sure why it hasn't tried to run into a mineral line just quite yet. Hydralis are currently 0-0 zero, zero upgrades against Stalkers, which are 1-0 upgraded so far and could continue to give chase against those Hydralis. Hydralis just need a blink down in order to get some damage, but they are not trying to engage just quite yet. So many Hydralis. Hydralis just able to um, focus fire and get a lot of damage as they are faster against Stalkers while they are on creep. So those Hydras continuing to just continue to push. And now in comes this one Dark Templar. Dark Templar currently at five kills, may be able to get up in six or seven kills as this fight continues. And it really will depend whether or not that one Dark Templar is able to get a lot of damage. I do not believe so as Aura's Rush is now down to 500 minerals in army, and that is it. A queen even coming over, and now in comes an overseer as well in order to try to reveal any Dark Templars just in case they are there. We see some transfusions in by that queen, so those Hydras continuing to give chase, able to focus down many of those Stalkers, and I believe, and this is going to be the beginning of the end, Aura's Rush facing a, an uphill battle against a very, very long, very, very large, ever-present Zerg army. Hydras even just on a hiatus, not really doing much outside the base over here. Queen's now joining in on the action, and now Or's Rush says GG. Or's Rush um, losing here on Biohazard 2 to Sen. Sen, with a very, very impressive play, was even, even though he was even on bases, he was able to keep up with the macro of Or's Rush. So, Real, I really like Sen's play recently. He's been playing very, very impressively. And yeah, this game was just back and forth, but Sen eventually got enough pressure after going into Zergling Baneling, going into Zerg Hydra, and then using those Overlords effectively in order to spawn a lot of creep. Those Hydralis move very, very quickly, almost as fast as Marines and Marauders with Stimpak without the health loss there and also having a plus one range there are also light units as well so those stalkers do not deal nearly as much damage towards them thanks for watching thanks for listening i hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between sen versus ors or, um, ors rush here on biohazard 2